as you can see I have four different my favorite microcontroller development kit and I'm going to talk about this four different development kits that I used and I recommend everybody to start with this microcontroller development kit for anybody who is completely new into the world of embedded system and there is a reason you know why I use Raspberry Pi why I use STM32 Nucleo board or why I use an Arduino and why I use the ESP8266 all right so let's talk one by one and let me just take out this other board and let's just concentrate on one board at a time so if you're complete new to embedded system and you want to start off with a very basic then I would recommend you to start with an Arduino Uno because Arduino Uno has very famous 80 mega 328 microcontroller chip which is an AVR architecture which is very friendly for the one who are complete new to the microcontroller and they're programming the chip for first time. This Arduino board makes it extremely easy to program this 80 mega 328 which is a 8 bit microcontroller which runs on maximum 20 mega hertz but on board you have a 16 megahertz clock so you can clock it to 16 to 20 megahertz maximum but that doesn't matter for this video what I'm just trying to make the point is if you're complete new then you can start off with Arduino because it has this awesome cool chip 80 mega 328 8-bit microcontroller and when you are starting something new you know don't start with something which is extremely complex in the beginning because if you start with something like 32-bit STM32 microcontroller or something and you really drive nuts and crazy because you think you're gonna start off and you will win the world and it just doesn't work because it takes some time to learn so don't rush in go step by step one brick at a time and you will succeed so my recommendation for you and also for the Arduino there's a tons of help online tutorials and all other things you can also check out our courses for Arduino and also for 80 mega 328 you can program this AVR chip 80 mega 328 microcontroller through the uh, Arduino IDE using Arduino C programming language if you are feeling like the normal C is extremely tough for you in the beginning before you go in and build the professional products but later you can use the same board and you can scale it up to write a very professional embedded software for the same chip using C programming right and you can use the Atbell studio or microchip studio or something like this and write the bare C code and run and build a really professional product so don't just understand Arduino as a little toy for the kids or something no you can really scale it up and I have seen really expensive products built around this 80 mega 328 microcontroller and I'm not talking about just I, I worked with a company in Germany and we were using it AVR chips to drive the pressure sensors to measure the pressure in the blood vessels right so it's not really uh, something like toys or something because you can read it and get it anywhere on internet it just doesn't doesn't mean that this is for the kids it's really for the professionals if you have the ability if you have the right path you can really use and scale it up this so you I recommend you to start with AVR 8-bit microcontroller and the Arduino will be my first recommendation for you now moving on to after microcontroller I recommend people to start with the Raspberry Pi now Raspberry Pi 4 that you see in my hand this is a microprocessor device this Raspberry Pi has a chip this microprocessor chip which is CPU from the Broadcom and it has a 40 GPIO pins where you connect external sensors and actuators and all other things it has everything it has this display connectors camera connector HDMI type C USB 4 USB slots Ethernet Wi-Fi Bluetooth almost everything that normal computer has on the planet and this is since it's a microprocessor you have a great opportunity to learn the Linux as an operating system because Raspberry Pi runs on Raspberry Pi operating system Raspbian OS or Raspberry Pi OS whatever you can call because as an embedded system engineer you must know one microcontroller and one microprocessor device and Arduino will be the best microcontroller to get start off and Raspberry Pi will be the best to start off the microprocessor okay CPU programming and all of the stuff for the high level coding so if you are building a product like IoT Internet of Things or artificial intelligence to run OpenCV and camera image processing and stuff like that 
really the Raspberry Pi is the way to go and I would not recommend other ones because again as like an Arduino Raspberry have tons of online resources you can also check out our courses we do have a very high quality courses to get you started with the premium class of support so the second uh, recommendation was the Raspberry Pi now once you uh, once you learn um, Arduino and Raspberry Pi with the microcontroller programming. I would suggest you to also get your hands dirty with ESP8266, which is also very popular with the name Node MCU. You can see it. I don't know whether you can read it, but it's really small, low cost. Um, I think it's from the Chinese company called Espress F. And they made it a great job because because this is a 32-bit microcontroller can be programmed through Arduino IDE or you can also program through the micro Python or something but I would recommend you to stay with C programming Arduino C or the normal C and the great thing about this chip is this has the Wi-Fi connectivity so if you are building an embedded system project or embedded system product or solutions and if you want to connect to the internet then I would suggest you to go with this one right because this is easy to get started off and you can scale it up and it's really um, you can also go for production with this basically because I have designed one commercial product around this ESP chip so don't worry I will I will say it's the best to get started off. but for IoT it suits very good the only problem this ESP means node MCU has is it has only one analog pin okay so you can only have one analog sensor you can connect but as far as we talk about the other interfaces digital interfaces like serial UART, I2C, SPI communication and the other communication protocol then it does support almost everything so I would say this one goes to the third in my list of favorite uh, microcontroller or embedded system learning um, development boards then the last one I would suggest you to pick up this one this is STM32 and we all know ST microelectronics is very um, you know popular name in the world of microcontrollers they dominate basically I've seen a lot of products recently moving into the STM uh, microcontroller and it makes sense because they are cheaper very powerful not cheaper i could say but very very powerful this chip and i would suggest you even under the nuclear there are so many but i would suggest you to uh, to try and get your hands on with stm um, 32 nuclear f446 re so this is stm32 f446 re chip and this board is very good because it follows the arduino um, pin layout so if you are moving from 8-bit Arduino to 32-bit STM32 microcontroller then you really don't need to buy so many additional components because you might already have the Arduino shield and connector and other things and you can stack it up onto the um, nuclear board straight away and start writing the very very complex applications um, embedded software for the STM32 microcontroller and then build the project around this uh, chip. This is extremely powerful chip. This follows 32-bit um, Cortex M4 architecture and this chip can be clocked up to 180 megahertz or something like that. And the clock is really deep to go but this video is not really about clock but this put into the fourth of my favorite embedded system learning hardware kit and this is this is really worth it because the one reason that I recommend to my clients for this chip to use or the board to use in order to learn this microcontroller programming because it has the onboard debugger so the most of the microcontroller board professional microcontroller board has to buy the additional piece of hardware that's a programmer and debugger wherein in the nuclear board stm32 f446 nuclear board you have the onboard sd link debugger which makes it super simple to program this chip and debug the chip when you write an application professional software because the professional software will be very very complex and you really want to scale it up and debug this application a lot uh, in order to fit into your expectations and this is my fourth and um, the favorite hardware 
you can really learn a lot like a DMA, I2C, I2S, UART and almost every protocol on the planet you have this chip support. So when you are learning something and if you want to pick up the chip not to move the chip from one chip to other chip when particular protocol doesn't support. To avoid this kind of nonsense I think this is the one to go right STM32 F4 nuclear board. So this is all I have like this is my STM32 F4 nuclear board and this is my Raspberry Pi 4 then as I said I have this Arduino and then I have this Node MCU ESP8266. So these are my favorite uh, embedded software learning kit or microcontroller development board you can say and I would recommend you to buy and learn about this. Now if you want to learn how to program these chips and write very professional embedded software and really get a good job, high quality, high paid job then check out the link in the video description and if you have any specific question about learning embedded software, and embedded hardware or any, anything to do with embedded systems then feel free to give me a call or write me an email and I would be very happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see us into the next lesson. Bye bye for now.